Today, guys, we're gonna build one of those obscure high grades. We're gonna go with the Bear Guy 3. It's from the Build Fighter series. My toddler helped me pick this kid out. He was, I am adamant that I build the teddy bear. On a side note, guys, if you're trying to convince people that Gumpla is not toys, building a large toy teddy bear kinda complicates things. <laughs> On a side note, not even a side note, this is actually a very important note to me because it's what the channel is about, is about being a dad. I have a baby girl that's on the way, so I'm very excited. She will be here next week on Friday, with every, as long as everything goes well. So I will do my best to respond back to you guys um, with this next coming week, the next couple videos. I'm going to try to still get them up, but um, I just appreciate everything you guys do and watch. Know that I will be trying to keep an eye out with you guys too, but also have this beautiful baby girl on the way that I'm going to be taking care of. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. All right, guys, unboxing time. You can take a look. You can see this model kit is from the Build Fighter series. So of course, with those, you got to take a little bit of grain of salt. Some kits are good. Some kits are not. I will say for this kit, it looks like it's going to have some potential. You can see there's some large plastic with it. The head is, is like palm size. It's, it's massive. This thing is probably on the Sazabi size. You can see a lot of decals, a lot of eye stickers. I'm going to touch on those here in a few, but you can see nice little display for that. It's going to be nice for the setup. Here is everything you guys get out of the box. Uh, you get the bear guy itself. You do see the two sabers, and then you have an additional... Stretch Armstrong arms, you guys go with that. A uh, little questionable with those, but we'll get to that in a few. And then, of course, the different faceplate for the angry eyes. So this kit is very large. I would have not guessed it. I would have not thought that at all, but it is probably on, like, the size of B scale size. That head, as I mentioned a little bit ago, it's, it's almost palm size. This thing is quite a bit larger than expected. Again, here is the two beam sabers that come with it a nice clear pinkish color that angry plate you can see that the eyes are there you can see you can switch those out that's the two standard that's on it the angry eyes and then those eyes and then you actually these are three individual segments on each they actually pop apart and you can see right there the ball joints on that are great if you're going to keep them lined up however if you try to angle them at all and they kind of fall out they become loose so keep that in mind as you put, put those on later. Good movement in the head, you can see. And then also you have a nice little mouth opening. You can actually install a saber beam into that. And then these ears actually rotate around too. They do more than just back and forth. They'll actually angle back around too. I like the arms here except for that actual white piece that sits on the shoulder. It spins freely, there's nothing keeping it attached to the arm, so when you adjust the arm, it might or might not move, and it has a tendency to drop down. <clears throat> so you kind of get a little bit of the angle on that. So then with that, you can see I twisted that around, but the arms come fully around, it's on that ball joint as well, and then the hands themselves are on a ball joint. The nails do not pop out any. There is some good bend in the legs too. You can see, look at that. It goes all the way back, some adjustment there. I will say that these are actually kind of weak on holding, it's a little loose. They, this kit uses pegs into a, into a ball joint more than just the traditional like ball joint itself, so it does come freely. The bow is nice, it's nice big, it's like a very sleek, very soft plastic, so it definitely brings attention to this from the kit. It draws it, so it's going to be a nice piece. It, that's that peg system I'm talking about. That's how a lot of these joints are set up as they peg into it, except for like the extensions on the arm. All right, as you can see, to switch out the face plate, it's not that bad. You actually pull out underneath the mouthpiece and that frees up the head or the eye socket area, you wanna call it, to switch out to the other angry eyes. I'm gonna say it with a, you know, some vigor <laughs> just because they're angry guys. But it pops in, you can see that there's just a soft kind of like ball that they sit on. It allows some movement with that in the mouthpiece too. It sits in there nicely. And again, here's that mouthpiece that opens up and closes. I had a lot of fun with this piece actually, so it was enjoyable. You gotta get the angry eye stare in there. You guys are welcome. 
So final thoughts with this kit, guys. Here is the bare necessities of my review. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist it. Anyways, this kit was actually a lot of fun. It was a solid build for the Build Fighter series. And I, I mean, I enjoyed this kit. It was definitely unique. The size of this thing is, is huge. I mean, it is just, it's crazy to think that. So let's go with some pros and cons on this kit. Again, this is a Build Fighter series kit. So everything with this series is a grain of salt. You have some awesome kits and you have some, let's say less than favorable kits. But there is a ton of posing with this kit. You wouldn't think it, there is. I would say the arms are a very big sell point on this. It doesn't actually list that well on the kit. I think there is a display here and there, but much like the Ock guy, you know, that's the that's what this kit is based on is the Ock guy. If you guys didn't know, the bear guy is based off the Ock guy suit. They've redone it. But the extension on the arms is kind of nice. I like how you can switch that out. And then I do like the fact that you get two beam sabers and they can attach either at the palms of the hands or the mouth so you have some options with that the amount of movement in the arms and the legs is very impressive and then i like the cute little bow i mean they this kit nails the cute really well if you're looking for something to give to the ladies <laughs> that would be ridiculous but i absolutely love it anyone who's ever given a bear guy to their woman please Put that down in the comments, I gotta know the story. But back to the review on this, here is that arm extension. You can do, you can opt to do all of them together like that, or you can do one on, or three and three. I mean, there's tons of options with that. They're just a the ball slot into a joint, so I mean, it's easy. So tons of variety for poses, tons of articulation with the kit. I do like the bow. The bow has a ton of articulation too, which is kind of weird, but you actually can move it around and do different kind of angle poses if you're doing like movement poses or some of that. Then the faceplate itself, I absolutely love. I love the amount of sticker eyes you get for this kit as well. And I love the angry face. I think it's hilarious. It looks great. And I just, I, I, I actually adore this kit a lot more than I thought I would when I first started building it. So a little bit of the cons. Um, <clears throat> to go back to those arms, they do are a ball joint and they come loose. So if you're trying to do a lot of angles with them, it's not going to hold the pose. Unfortunately, they're going to drop, they're going to droop. They're going to kind of slip a little bit and will kind of throw off your poses. So that kind of sucks, but it's to be expected. Now, they do lock in place well together because it does have that rounded beveled edge on it so that keeps them locked in place once you push them in together so if you're keeping a straight angle that works well but again not much bending with that i also will say i do not like how the arm the shoulder covers that white piece kind of moves around freely and it kind of makes it hard to pose you have to readjust it constantly so it's kind of a frustration as well and I will say that the knees are loose and sometimes won't support the weight of the head. And it's just kind of heavier. So, I mean, it doesn't want to say you'll probably need an action base for that. And one last thing to touch on, the eyes. There's a ton of decals that come with it or stickers. And unfortunately, they're not like a reusable or they don't have an attachment to a plate to constantly reuse. So you're going to use a couple of times. You won't be able to switch them out that much. And I wish that might be something that Bandai could change or add some kind of option down the road. Guys, thank you so much again for watching. Uh, my daughter did come early, so I actually recorded the first part of this video beforehand and she showed up a week earlier. So we've been kind of bouncing around between here and then the NICU at our, our local, well not, not local unfortunately, but our closest children's hospital. So I've been kind of, it's been a hectic schedule for sure, but I really do want to shout out Thank you guys so much for watching. Absolutely love you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe for up upcoming content. Hit the notification and like too. It really helps out this channel in so many great ways. But until next time, love.